I hope you've got your prescription handy. It's Dr. Colonel Failure's Hollywood Clinic to the Stars, and uh, we're working on our hospitalisation section of the hospital. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense in the slightest. Uh, last time around, we managed to get our uh, on-call room and our nursing station, and uh, we also then added in uh, the high dependency unit and the surgical operating theatre. Um, all in all, quite a lot accomplished. Uh, we still need uh, a diagnostic unit and a regular ward in order to uh, to unleash this new beast. And, uh, and I've just done a very brief measure up, and even with this extra bit of space that I've left myself, I've not got enough room. Uh, this is unfortunate. Um, however, this does afford us an opportunity. Uh, here is the, uh, the hospital uh, ambulance pen here, or it will be in the future when I, when I deploy such things. And uh, to go from here straight into uh, a high dependency, not high dependency unit, a diagnostic unit, might be something that works later on. I've no idea whether it will or not, uh, but I'm going to work on that assumption, rightly or wrongly, possibly both. Um, uh, but that means we're going to need some more foundation. So, you know, a bit more uh, expansion uh, is going to be uh, in, our, in our interests here. Uh, another seven and a half Gs. Sure. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Have I just have I just hosed that? Uh, what can we do here? Dynamite everything, including foundations, bulldoze walls, and all. Yeah. What's the better? I've just pooched the car park. Let's assume that I have. There's no sense in uh, no sense in crying over spilt milk. Uh, we've still got some car park left available. Maybe we'll be all right. Don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's bang in. Uh, uh, enough walls to uh, to make this work. Uh, eventually, obviously, we'll we'll occupy the whole the whole joint here. Um, I think before we we even get to that stage, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll expand to a second floor so you can see what that looks like. Uh, I know you're all looking forward to that. Uh, right, let's kill this wall off. I'll probably rebuild some of it in a minute, but uh, for the moment we don't need it. Uh, also, that's a window that we're not going to require. Uh, uh, no. Yes. Good. All right. Okay. So we've got, we've got more corridor we can apply here. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll apply that accordingly. Um, and then we'll, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll continue around the corner with it. Uh, go to that. Yeah. And then do that. Right. And then we'll bang some double doors in there. And, uh, and everything will be groovy. Uh, right. I'll carry on working with that. Uh, why don't you watch the bombastic intro and then swing back when you've done that? All right, good. Okay, so we need uh, we need diagnostics, which I'm going to stick in here. Now, the the downside to this is it's it's quite a traips from where people might be diagnosticated in the first place. Um, but I'm going to work. I'm going to work on the basis that actually bringing people in by ambulance this might work out well. Uh, and if uh, if that ends up being wrong, well then we'll just move it. So this needs to be a minimum of four by four. We'll go for uh, six by six. But part of me is tempted to move this a little further up. Not that tempted though. No, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll stick that in there, uh, and then we need a, a regular ward next to it so we'll continue the corridor up that way and we'll uh, we'll bang the ward in just about here there goes six by seven all right that could work it might not you never know but uh you've got to you've got to draw a line in the sand somewhere and uh, and i've drawn it about there uh right okay so let's uh let's get that bricked up and then we'll get this bricked up and then we've got a bit more space with which to build some more gubbins uh, as we need to. Uh, right, fling a door or a window or all of the doors and windows. Yep, let's do that and a bit of this. We won't have any windows in the surgical bay. Uh, I imagine that that might be slightly disconcerting for those being operated on. So uh, so we'll leave that well alone for the moment. Um, now then, need a door. This feels like a double door job to me. Uh, yeah, it does. So we'll we'll stick those on there. And we'll stick these on here. Now, I'm a little concerned. The high dependency unit over here, I've got double doors on there as well. But I don't think there's actually enough room to, to get any manoeuvring done there. We'll see. Um, 
but uh, but I don't think that's uh, that's necessarily well organised uh, yet. But we'll we'll figure that out when the time comes. Right, let's uh, get the uh, get the diagnostics set up, and then we'll set our ward up here. Groovy. Right now, let's fit it out with some kit. What do you need? Oh, you need flipping everything. Okay. Well, you want an exam table. Okay, for for doing your GCSEs. Uh, yeah, do I want it right near the door? Probably not. Oh, hold on. Well, yeah, let's stick it in this corner. Yes. Okay, and then it's this is just business as usual, isn't it? Um, all right. Well, fine. Uh, we've built enough of these by now that we should be able to, to figure out a good way of doing it. You get, you, but you also need a stretcher to move people around. I wonder if this means that I'm going to need orderlies at some point. Certainly can't rule that out. Mobile workstation. Cool. Uh, okay, well we'll, well, we'll put that in there and then we'll, we'll shift it should the need arise. Uh, eye test we'll put by the door. Biohazard bin we'll put by the door. Which means we need a disinfecting hand sanitizing effort which we'll put near the door good we're getting there uh wall mounted equipment no we want an equipment cupboard useful thing the equipment cupboard because it allows you to, to to sling stuff on top of it as well uh and then a dialysis machine that seems oddly specific but you know we'll we'll go with it uh that looks like it's blocking the bed but apparently everything's just fine uh, put the CRP scanner on there, and then we need an audiometer. Really? Again, that seems oddly specific for, for what we've got going on here, but I'm not going to argue with it too vociferously. Stick that on there. Stretcher will stick against the wall there. That looks to be golden. Okay, great. Uh, well, that's our third stretcher. I look forward to seeing people whizzing about on stretchers as the... Uh, uh, as our situation expands. Um, the other thing that, that potentially concerns me right now is that this waiting area for the surgical department, it's not exactly big. Um, so I might need to I might need to expand that further, or I could put a second waiting department in, waiting area, which I could probably slot in this this section here, which currently doesn't have a purpose. We'll see how we get on. Um, but I am buying an awful lot of equipment here, and if it's not properly used, then uh, yeah, then then there's not a lot we can, not, not a lot of money we're going to make back from this. Uh, right, so let's see if I can't get more than four. So we got four in the last one of these. Uh, if I can get more than that in here, that'll be dandy. I don't think I can. I don't think we've left, left enough room. I think four is going to be our number once again. Okay, right. You're, you're all wanting bedside cabinets. Well, I can make that happen. That's in front of the door. That's rubbish. Uh, let's move that around to there. Yeah, okay. It's not uh, It's not terrific, is it? Um, I mean, frankly, it's because I'm, I'm doing everything on the... Uh, I wouldn't say the cheap per se. I'm doing everything on a, on a small scale, and and this lot could all do with being quite a bit bigger. Um, but hey, you know, it's a if the, if it turns out that we're getting lots of action, uh, then uh, then I can always expand later on. All right, and that one. But what I do know is that keeping people on the ward is where the big bucks are. So uh, so obviously we want plenty of that. Uh, anything else we should stick in here? Well, let's put a let's put a dressing screen. No, no, let's put a sofa. I've got room. There you are. One time sofa. You've got a window. There's four beds in there. Should do the job, I reckon. Um, good. Anything else that I need other than staff? Now the staff are on call 24 hours a day, so I'm going to need to double up to uh, to to fully staff up this this new section. Uh, let's just check here and make sure that we're we're fully set up, and we are. Well, good. Okay, staff. Uh, Doctor zero of zero. Yes. Well, let's just let's start hiring and see where we get to. Uh, right, who have we got here? These are. Well, let's start over here. Where's a, let's get a 
Let's get a doctor on board. Uh, do we want an intern? No, we want someone who's who's a little bit more uh, a bit more ready to rock and roll. Clinical surgery, yeah, I like it. Uh, we got any better surgeons than that? No, you're hired. Uh, obviously, you're going to go through a rebranding. There we go. Our first surgeon, Vera Hipbone. Uh, is uh, is now deployed. Uh, do we need some overnight start? Oh, that is overnight start. Vera's working the night shift. Uh, fair enough. And uh, another, we want another surgeon. But you are, yeah, yeah, you'll do. Okay, right. Uh, let's rebrand accordingly. There we go, and our catcher Steve Morrie is uh, is on the day is on the day shift, uh, with uh, with Vera Hipbone taking the night shift on the uh, on call doctor's lab. There, uh, that's good. We now need to do the same uh, the same get up for nursing. Um, still an all female nursing department. I mean, I'm a I'm an equal opportunities uh, employer, but uh, but so far, nothing much. Uh, right, so it looks like. This is, yeah, Mary, you're hired, except, of course, your name is not, in fact, Mary. It is. There you go. Victoria Plastique is, uh, is our nurse on duty for, uh, for the day shift. And then on nights... Uh, who have we got coming in? Again, I'd like someone who actually knows a thing or two about, well, anything, frankly. Uh, we'll put a student in. That'll be that'll be absolutely fine. Hey, we've got hospitalisation at emergency is uh, is now uh, active. Groovy. Uh, well, I'm going to switch this on shortly, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to uh, cover whatever comes in. Um, you never know; it, it could happen. Uh, and this is going to be uh, Mayu Raku. Right, R A A R K U. For some reason, good. Right, nursing student on overnights. I'm sure she'll she'll learn the the cut and the thrust of things uh, quite adequately. And uh, that means we're also going to need a receptionist for overnights as well. Um, well, you have got lots of good receptionists going on. I'm going to hire a good one. Uh, there we are. And it's Julie Disordley who will be taking the uh, the, the evening shift there. Um, I don't appear to have anyone actually on staff for, for all of these expensive other areas, but I imagine the on-duty team will, uh, will take care of that. Right, I'm going to assume I've got it all. Have I missed anything in the slightest? We're going to need to keep an eye on the reception area, uh, and, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. Right, there we go. Here's my... Uh, my on-duty team. This is good. Uh, we are now a, we're now a 24-hour operation uh, here at uh, Dr. Colonel Failure's uh, Hollywood Clinic to the Stars. Uh, let's whiz it through until we actually get some patients coming in, and then we'll uh, we'll figure this out. Right, enable hospitalization at emergency. What does that even mean? I should probably look that up. Oh well, I don't, I've committed to whizzing through now. Um, yeah, how does one enable it? Is there a button that I need to push to say, we will now hospitalise people? I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. All right, okay. Morning has broken. The uh, the day shift are coming on. Uh, let's have a look. Emergency, this, hospitalisation. Oh, we've got to build all of this lot as well. We need a trauma centre. Oh, I'm flipping, Nora. Uh, an on-call room. 
Can't they just use the surgical stuff? I guess these are for appointments, right? Rather than uh, rather than anything else. Okay, well that's going to be my next build then. Um, but for now, we'll we'll just let it roll and uh, and see what we get over the course of the day. Uh, if we manage to get any kind of surgery at all, that will be uh, that will be delightful. Obviously, presuming the success of the surgery in question. Uh, but actually, I'm starting to like the looks of this. This is, uh, you know, this is a, an, an almost uh, proper looking hospital now. Got our first patients in. There you go. One on one. Fifty is the target for our next lump sum. Uh, we're certainly getting people, uh, certainly getting people through the doors. But we've got our first, uh, our first diagnosis. So we've got uh, that's esophagus. So that's esophagitis. Uh, or, or pharyngitis. Okay, swallowing pain, fever, nausea, vomiting. Ooh, tricky. Uh, controlled by doctors. Controlled by player or favourite patient. Well, you, I, I, the chairman of Liverpool is not. Uh, uh, let's do uh, let's do thorax percussion. Ding 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 ding. ding. Yeah, that that'll make them feel better. Uh, we could. Barium swallow X-ray. Oh, let's make them do that as well. Brilliant. Um, now, I mean, that's a that's a patient who uh, who is who is here on the cheap. But we're going to hold on. Who's this? Uh, according to performed examinations, it's not possible for the uh, patient to have the selected diagnosis. Well, it's that one then. No, no, it's it's not. It was the other one. Okay, but I didn't diagnose them. I just said a couple of things to do with the uh, with the what's it? I to figure it out for yourself, Doc. All right, I I believe in you. Oops. Hope they don't die. Hope they don't sue. Um, obviously, if they die, they're going to have a tough time suing. So uh, so maybe that's the best outcome for all of us. Uh, what have we got? Uh, employee leveled up. Now a specialist. Uh, Josephine von Humperdinck. Good. All right. Come on, smile more. You're better than that. Stop referring everyone to me. We got anybody being uh, sliced and diced yet? No, no, not not at the current time. I may have I may have overegged my my ward situation, um, but I'm I'm a I'm an optimist. Really, you're you're hoping more people get sick. All right, maybe optimist is the wrong word. You're right, but uh, never mind. Uh, well, we're, we're rattling through the patients. The waiting room's not too busy today, which is good. Uh, clearly, we've got about the right amount of clinics going on now to, to actually stay on top of the, the flow of, of patients. What was that noise? That was a, that was a machine going ping there. Uh, good. Um, no referrals for surgery yet, which is a shame because I've got a night crew and everything. Everyone's just, you know, we're all waiting here. Uh, you know, spending... Who's this? Dr. Uh, Dr. Mori is uh, spending his time just sharpening his scalpel expectantly. He goes, I've got a bone saw here and I've, I've got a vague understanding of how to use it. Um, oh, hello, Judy. All right, Jude, what's up? Uh, it's tennis elbow. There you are. Get out of my hospital. Those are the easy ones, to be honest. You tell them it's tennis ale, where they leave, everything's golden. Uh, right, we're at 35 or 35 midway through the afternoon. We're going to get to 40-ish again. Uh, obviously, if uh, if surgery picks up, that will actually give us the capacity we need to get beyond 50. I'd, I'd really like an MRI scanner. Oh, hello, where are you off to? Oh, you're just leaving. Okay. Uh, okay, Lisa Barkley, what's wrong with tennis elbow? Job done. I mean, seriously. I mean, challenge me when it when you've got more of an idea. In fact, what I need is the machine that will allow me to correctly determine tennis elbow, and then I'll stop getting all of these redirects. And it better not be a flipping CT scanner because I'm not spending uh, forty grand on an expensive piece of kit to detect that people have got a bit of a tweaked elbow. I and mean, that seems like overkill, if you ask me. And it seems like a great deal of expense in order to make that happen. Still not a lot going on in surgery. It's a shame. Do I need staff? I mean, wouldn't I need like an anaesthetist and uh, and someone to... I mean, we've got a lot of sinks going on for not an awful lot of people in there. 
I mean, at the moment, we're paying uh, Dr. Murray just to sit on the sofa all day. Oh, he, he went and had a quick go on solitaire uh, before chipping off. 49 of 50. Very close. Um, if we cure anybody else overnight, then uh, then that'll get us over the over the hump there. But I don't think we're going to do it. If I'm, I'm pretty certain we're not going to do it. Okay, well, never mind. So the, the first day of the surgical department being open has not led to any surgeries having actually happened. Um, I'm, that's a shame, but uh, we'll get there, I'm sure. Uh, but next time, I think we will build our emergency department. I've still got 35k to burn through, um, and uh, and I'm quite likely to do that. So uh, so why not subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on that happening, and, uh, and fling a like at this one if uh, if you feel like it. Uh, it'll help cure your tennis elbow. So that's the best I can uh, I can suggest to you there. And uh, and I'll be back soon with a little more of the same. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheerio.